Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Harleen J. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some essential items you need if you have a puppy or you're getting a puppy. But first, I wanted to show you guys Belle. So I'm gonna go get her for you guys so you guys can see her because I know that's what you guys really came for. So here's Belle. Um, if you guys remember from my last video when I picked up my toy poodle, um, here she is now. Her name is Belle. She's way bigger than what you guys saw in that video. She actually grew um, a couple pounds, not that much. I think um, before, I think now she's probably like almost three pounds. So she's a little pretty big now than what she was before. And um, so I'm probably gonna do a, a, a puppy update video coming up soon. So just stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and put her down now. She wants to get down. Say bye mama, bye mama. First thing I wanted to mention was this Earth Bath Oatmeal and Aloe Shampoo. This is a really good puppy shampoo, even adult dog shampoo. It has a vanilla and almond scent and it also helps with itching and dry skin. And also if you look at the ingredients, it doesn't have any like synthetic dyes or sulfates, which is um, really good and probably really good for a sensitive for dogs who have sensitive skin as well. And I really like this shampoo, so I think I'm gonna stick with it. Um, as long as she does good with it. The next thing I wanted to mention was these puppy wipes. Um, puppy wipes are good to have on hand if you just want to wipe your dog down, um, especially if you don't want to give them a full bath. This is good for uh, just a, it just removes like dirt and stains and orders as well. So if you don't want to give your dog a bath, so you can just grab one of these and you can just wipe them down like if they just came from a walk and they stepped in something, these are really good. Okay, so I just got this one off Amazon. So it's Nature's Miracle Skin and Coat Supreme Odor Control. So basically what this is, it's a freshening spray. So if they're starting to get stinky in between baths, you can spray this on them and just like rub it in and they will smell so good. So this scent is spring water and it's not what you think it smells like. It smells really good and really fresh and it actually does um, condition their coat and it neutralizes any odor. And also it makes their coat feel so soft. Um, so I really like this. Since I have a toy poodle, you know that toy poodles are known to have tear stains. And what I use for that is the Burt's Bees for Dogs Tear Stain Remover. And it is made with natural ingredients and it's also safe and it doesn't like burn their eyes when I'm using like a little cotton ball to remove her tear stains. One thing I don't really like about this one, um, just a quick disclaimer, is that it doesn't remove the tear stains. It will actually remove um, the, I guess, the backup that the tear stains do leave, but it doesn't lighten tear stains, uh, which is nothing wrong with that because usually during her baths, I can kind of scrub out her tear stains a little bit, but I really do like this just because it's natural and it, it does work. For toy poodles as well, you know, you're always supposed to have good brushes for them because they have really curly fur that can get tangled if they're not brushed um, every day or so. So one of the brushes I like to use is this brush right here. I got it off Amazon and it has these metal prongs, um, which I do love and it does help to remove any excess um, shedding fur, which she doesn't really shed as much, but I do, see that sometimes it can remove a little bit of excess um, fur. And then um, another brush that I like is this one. I just got this one from my local beauty supply store. And I like to just use this one when I just wanna brush her out after she's done um, getting baths and I'm blow drying her. So this one is not as rough as this one here, cause this one is really made with, um, I guess, metal prongs. And this one is not as bad. So she doesn't really mind this one and it, I don't think it will like irritate her. So I like this one, but you can really use any brush that I guess you can find. So one thing I would say for small dogs that you would need is a small brush. So this brush right here, it's an edge brush that I got from my beauty supply store, but you can use any other edge brush. Like if you go to a puppy store or a pet store, you will find small brushes like these. And usually what these are for is to get in the small spaces. So when I'm um, giving Belle a bath 
and I want to wash her face, I will use this brush to get in underneath her eyes. And then that way I can work on the tear stain. Also, I use it to comb out her tear stain crust that usually dries up in her hairs. And this is perfect because it can get right in in those little small areas for her. And then also for small dogs, um, I don't know if anyone else experienced this, but sometimes um, when Belle's doing a number two, she does have a little bit stuck um, on her back of her fur. So I can also use this to comb it out as well, um, which is... That's why I like to use these small little brushes. Last but not least, um, what I also have is um, some toothpaste. And this is, I got this from my local pet store. And this is just a vanilla mint pet toothpaste. And it's also made from natural ingredients. This one is from the brand Triple Pet. And it also came with this toothbrush. Belle loves this toothpaste, which also makes it easier for me to brush her teeth. Um, the one thing I would say is um, I don't like really is this toothbrush. It says it's good for small dogs, but obviously Belle is a tiny dog compared to a small dog. And um, these, this brush is still too big for her, um, for her little baby teeth. So I would suggest when brushing a tiny dog as such as Belle, I would use the um the finger slip brush that that way you can actually get in her teeth and then it won't be as rough as um this big old toothbrush because this big old toothbrush seems like it'll be better for um a small dog or a medium-sized dog another thing i wanted to mention is you want when it comes to puppies you want to make sure you have a ton of toys so i went on amazon and i got a pack of puppy toys that probably came in five sets of toys and Belle enjoys playing with all of them. That way you can keep them from chewing on your shoelaces, shoes, um, charger cords. So I would definitely, 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 definitely recommend that you get some puppy toys. Puppies love the soft plush toys and they also love um, rubbery toys such as Kongs. Also, when it comes to training, I wanna give you guys, um, I wanna touch on that as well. Um, I would definitely recommend that you do some research on training. I know when I was looking to get a puppy, I watch all of Zach Shore's videos, um, which I'll be able to link below. And I'll also link below some of the, all the products that I mentioned. But in terms of training, I watch all of Zach Shore's um, training videos, which he is here on YouTube. And it helped a lot when it came to training Belle. Um, she's already doing so well on training. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that you do some research on training your puppy on to use the puppy pad um how to sit to stay um just things that would be beneficial to you and your puppy okay everyone i hope you guys enjoyed this video that i did on all the essential things that you need um, when you are getting a puppy or if you already have a puppy um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bell say bye bye